girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about TV shows that I've given up on. Now, before I can get into this week's video, I want to let you guys in on a little spoiler alert for any of you guys that haven't seen any of these TV shows that I'm going to be talking about in this week's video. So anyway, the first TV show that I've given up on is Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, I could have made a completely different video on anime anime shows that I've given up on alone. Like, I could have just made a completely different video about anime shows. But for the, for, but for the sake of this video only, I'm only going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen. So, I, I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen just to get a grasp on new anime shows that have been popping up through the years. And I watched it. This first season was pretty interesting. The main characters got some interesting motives. The other side characters are interesting too. The villains are good. The whole concept of cursed energy and cursed techniques. Nice idea, but then season two rolled around. Everything started to move so fast to the point where characters start talking about random shit. And I don't even know what they're trying to say. Like, slow the fuck down like I'm trying to enjoy a TV show and all you're doing is blabbering on blabbering on too quickly to the point where you're probably even talking gibberish like who are you what are you doing here what kind of ability do you have and why do you have it out of nowhere that's the thing with certain anime shows some anime shows get like this certain ass pool where they get like this ability out of nowhere without an explanation. Everybody watches TV shows differently. I'm one of those people that doesn't turn my brain off. I gotta know what's happening at this certain moment. It's always important to watch a TV show in the very beginning because if you watch it out of context, you won't know what's going on. So even if I watch the show from the very beginning, I still have to know what's going on. But season two, it's what, it's what, it ruined it for me. I'm trying so hard to love this show and love these characters. But everything is just moving on too fast. Everything is happening out of nowhere. I don't know what, like... Like, for an example, this guy, like, in this conference room talking about jujitsu sorcerers. Like, we got this jujitsu sorcerer combating of these other jujitsu sorcerers. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Who are you? What are you doing here? Like, there we go again with my multiple questions. Like, it's one of those situations where you have to turn your brain off just to enjoy the show. Like, for example, Suicide Squad Isekai, another new show I try to get grasp the concept on but the first episode I couldn't do it I can never watch any of those tv shows where you have where I have to turn my brain off just to enjoy the action I gotta know what's going on I gotta have some backstory some explanation not every character needs a backstory by the way that's okay but if, if there's any tv shows like that with no explanation on what's going on everything's moving too fast gone you're all, you're throwing in the trash for me and for those of you that have still stick to the jujitsu kaisen anime and or manga props to you i salute you guys because i've given up a long time ago and moved on to my old classics naruto bleach demon slayer hunter x hunter those shows i can never give up and move on to <laughs> So anyway, the next show that I've given up on is Stranger Things. Now, the first few seasons were so, so good. The characters were good. The villains were interesting. The whole scary horror-type atmosphere was pretty good, too. But then we go on to a bit of a long hiatus. I'm waiting so long for season four. I've been waiting for months and months, and then months could go by into years, and then when they finally release a new season that I've been waiting for so long, I just don't care anymore. I'm at this point where season three should have been the series finale of Stranger Things. I know there could have been, there was some plot holes to be fixed, like if Hopper survived or who are the other experimental number characters, like we got 11 and 8 the past few seasons where's number one number two number three 
it's gone to the point where I'm making my own fan edits, my own alternate endings on TV shows that I've given up on, and I would just change the ending to my liking to the shows where I just want them to have this certain ending and other explanations that I'd be tying up myself. That's why I've given up on Stranger Things. I've waited so long for season four. And when it finally came, I just... I'm just so mentally drained on watching it anymore. I don't even know what's happening. I could go and re-watch it just to get another grasp of it, but I'm mentally damaged to the point where I just don't care. I moved on. But another show, this last show that I'm going to be talking about in today's video, a show that I've watched for so long to the point where... Some things in this show I still couldn't grasp. It's The Walking Dead. I got introduced to this show when I was in eighth grade. That This show was very interesting. It's got a very interesting horror dynamic to it with the zombie apocalypse. All these characters were so good. Not everything is all sunshine and rainbows. It's proven within this show, The Walking Dead, not everybody comes out alive. That's the problem for me. I know I shouldn't be watching The Walking Dead if any of my if all of my characters that I like are going to be dead anyway. But I still progress. I try so hard to get invested into this show. All of my favorite characters are dead to the point where a new character pops in and I am trying so hard to care about this character. I don't even care if this new character dies in the first five seconds of, after their introduction. I just don't care. I'm so mentally and emotionally numb from past characters that I've lost, including Glenn. I'm one of those people that I haven't got over Glenn's death. But thanks to the actor creating, thanks to Invincible, the guy that played Glenn has also played the main character of Invincible. It made it kind of lightened Glenn's death on me a little bit. It's given me faith on the actor and his other projects working on because The Walking Dead, I lost faith to the point where I'm trying so hard to like this show, but my faith of this show keeps degrading so hard. And there are so many seasons to catch up on that I just couldn't do it. I've given up after season seven. All my favorite characters are dead to a point where I made it a point earlier of making an alternate ending to my liking to not every character has to live. That's okay. Not everything's sunshine and rainbows like I said earlier. To the point where certain characters get their own happy ending. Things are going to end up completely differently than they originally intended because Walking Dead... The, show, the original show has ended, but then there, we got so many spinoffs and sequel series that I'm like, eh, fuck off of that shit. I'm making my own ending. I'm, I just don't care anymore. Uh, yeah, boohoo, me losing over, me, me crying over Glenn, get over it. Yeah, I'm one of those people. It's hard to get over Glenn's death. When I think about it every now and then, and I'm like, ugh, should have been Maggie to the point. I clear, I cared about Glenn so much, I'm like, eh, should have been her. Oh, well, I'm just kidding. I like Maggie too, but it's hard to care to which one you want to live and which one you want to die. Everything's a hit or miss. So anyway, let me know down in the comments below on what TV show you've given up on and your reasonings why. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.